All right. So welcome to August 20, uh, 25th, 2022. And today's PMP Q&A session is facilitated by me, Ojigo Ajumwa. I'm so excited you're watching this, you know, either live or catching it on replay. So let's move in. I would love you to introduce yourself, you know, below the, in the chat or below the YouTube channel where this will be hosted, you know, later on. So we'd love to hear and know who you are and connect with you. So share with us what you do. Why do you want the PMP certification? When do you plan to get certified? Have you tried the PMP exams before? Are there any challenges you may be having with your preparation? We always love to connect with people and you know, see how we can help you on that journey to becoming PMP certified, which is the aim of this session. So quick introductions. My name is Ojuga Junwa. I'm co-founder at Right Track Consulting for the past 14 years. My roles have been in project management consulting, training, information technology, software implementation, digital marketing, and event management. I'm actually um, you know, someone with a lot of um, skills that I bring to the table. As an educator, I've taught more than 7,500 people in various capacities in over 12,000 hours with clients around 15 plus countries of the world. I authored a book, Lessons Learned Managing Projects in Nigeria, and another I co-authored with 50 other project managers across the world, A Day in the Life of a Project Manager. These two books are available on Amazon. You can connect with me on LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook. We would love to hear from you, connect with you on socials. So just a little bit of um, proof. I've been you know, certified for some time now, since February 2009. And I just want to talk about the certification a bit. The Project Management Professional Certification from PMI, Project Management Institute, is one of the best things, you know, uh, best highlights of my career. Like I told you, I've been, I graduated year 1998 did my youth national youth service. I'm based in Nigeria, you know, did my national youth service between 1998 and 1999. And, you know, in between that time, I, I did some certification trainings, um, the popular Oracle database administrator, and it, it helped me move into, um, you know, the IT space. But then we noticed that, you know, it, the projects I, I supervised in the IT space, we noticed that most of them were not, you know, doing so well because of management, because of how we managed the project. And many of them were national projects, by the way, you know, in Nigeria, in the city of Abuja, where I live and all of that. And, you know, by the time we we took um, a survey of why were these are projects, why was there always fire on the mountain on these projects, you know, and all of that. We took a survey and noticed we were not managing the projects well. We, we actually had a gap, you know, in the, in the organization where I was working at the time. So our, our boss decided, oh, there must be a better way. And he started researching at there trainings in project management, and then the two came up, Prince 2 and the PMP. And we chose the PMP because it's so universal, you know, and it's so easy to also implement. So here I am, um, many years later, February 2009, I became certified, and this is the 13th year. It's been a very beautiful kind of certification because I've used it on the job. I've used it in training, facilitation, in consulting, in project advisory, in various capacities, you know, and all of that. So um, that's my story. And these are some organizations that over time, some organizations, not all, that over time we've impacted with project management knowledge, you know, and so on. 
So a bit of housekeeping, please turn off notifications on your phone, your TV, if you're at home, get a journal, be ready to have a valuable conversation. I see Toby, Toby, thanks for being in here. And Sui, Sui Mia, thanks for being in here. So just um, in the way of um, introductions, I always love people to introduce themselves. Please introduce yourself with these prompts in the chat while we wait for others to um, kind of join in. So you can type or you could use the, the audio. Just tell us a bit about you. We love to connect with people that jump on our calls. It shows that you're, you know, you're focused on getting this certification. Okay, so let me see. Toby, you're welcome. Okay, yeah, echo as permission. You're welcome. Okay, amazing. So you're in the right place. Great, so you're in the right place. So, you know, as a backup to my, my story, since having the PM certification, you start noticing, you know, gaps in your, um, how you execute projects. Everyone can plan a project, you know, but then how do you execute this project? That's where the rubber meets the road. You know, that's why certification again is, like, you know, really, really important. So let's head on to a bit about the exams, just in case, you know, you're hearing it for the first time or you're on replay, you know, so we'll just listen to a little bit about the exams. So quickly, so that's my face. Sorry, I didn't even know my camera was off. But then when we get to Q&A, I'll put my camera off. So um, PMP and CAPM exams, the CAPM is for people that are straight out of school. You've not had projects you manage, but you would love to, you know, start working in this area. So CAPM is Certified Associate in Project Management. PMP stands for the Project Management Professional. So they are now both written online, you know, since the pandemic started. So they are written in um, Pearson View Centers. You can write from your home, you can write from your office. The exam category is divided into, into three. You have people, covers 42%, process covers 50%, business environment covers 8%. And the exam questions, they used to be, um, they used to be 200, you know, but now they are 230. And only 175 are, uh, 175 are actually scored, you know. So the other, there are five questions that are, you know, just to get you ready for the exam. And then 25 other questions or so, you know, are placebo questions. They are not real questions. But guess what? You will know the ones that are real and the ones that are unreal questions. So what you do, uh, an exam tip and trick is to make sure you answer all questions. You know, don't leave any question unanswered. And remember, you're going to be shading or in some cases, you know, you may make a sentence or two because they change the format of the exams. <coughs> Sorry, just a moment. The exam timeline is 230 minutes. So that's roughly one minute per question. You can see more details on the PMI's website. If you've ever gone through training, you know, it's a good time to go into the website. It's free to apply for your exams. Just go in, create your account, then go under certifications and start applying for this exam. Set a timeline to it. For people that actually get this done and, you know, move it off the table, you will notice that they all, you know, go ahead 
to schedule a date. You can always shift the date if for some reason, you know, it's so tight, you're unable to go in and things like that. So I suggest as a take, um, as a take away from um, today's Q&A, please go on the website, fill up your form. It's free, like I told you, is, is at the point where PMI re responds to you back and says, oh, this is your exam code, you know, sorry that all oh, your uh, application has been approved that you can then go ahead to pay. So um, signing up on pmi.org, totally free. Applying for your exams under, if you can see this um, image on the right, under certifications, you know, you choose the PMP, or if you're doing the CAPM, you know, you choose any of them, applying for it, totally free. So remember, we'll entertain questions, you know, um, just before we hop into the Q&A, it is just 10 questions. I'm mindful of our time, you know, and all of that. So this is, you know, the exam content outline. Again, you can download this. Before it used to cost money to download this content outline. There are actually clickable links. So you can download it once you sign up on PMI's website, you know, under the PMP certification, you see the exam ECO. You know, so this is people, everything that will be covered, process, business environment. IK, you're welcome. I can I can see your your handle. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. So free resources. One is one important resource I would love you to, if you've not printed this, it's good to you know go ahead, print your study planner. In fact, yesterday I was getting back to a friend of mine who was also in one of our PMP classes four years ago. I think she came in 2018. You know, and when, when we were conversing, she mentioned that oh, she she doesn't see herself being disciplined to study. But this exam content study planner, you know, the weekly study planner would really help you. You can screenshot this page. You know, after this program, just go into the into the link and load the planner every week. <coughs> Sorry, someone's uh, microphone is on. Okay, I can, I can see your your hand. I will come to you just a moment. So um Applying for the exam again, sometimes it could be a little bit here and there, even though PMI has um, simplified the process. This is a video to walk you through. You can request for access. Then these are free mock PMP tests. If you don't even know, what does this exam, you know, Ajugo is talking about, what does it look like? Please take a look at these uh, free mock tests, you know. So once you go in, just just try your hands at the test. The more questions you try, the better. You know, yesterday I made a post on LinkedIn that there is no magic wand approach to passing the exams. But one thing I know from having done this from 2009 till today, you know, is that the more you practice questions, you know, the better. So the much, if, if you can practice 100 questions a week, you start seeing yourself writing this exam. You know, you start noticing where you have gaps and things like that. Again, we also have a partnership with an organization called Test to Dan. You know, so you can find the, the link is, this one is not free, it's exam simulated. So it will time you like the real exam will time you one minute per question and you're going, you're going, you know, and then it also analyzes your results once you're done. So I hope we've all taken a screenshot, you know, to go back to this later on. All right. So again, just before we hop in, there's a book I've written, I mentioned it earlier, Lessons Learned Managing Projects in Nigeria. This is like um, a, a book that will give you insights into other project managers' stories, you know, positive stories, negative stories, so that you don't make mistakes with the negative stories. And from the positive ones, you can look out for opportunities on your current projects. So you can find that over here. So there we go. Um, we would start our practice question. Remember, we're going to be timing you, not like the real exam, though. We'll do like two minutes 
per question and we have just 10 questions. Are we ready? Before I start, I think I saw Ike's hand. Ike, please, you can unmute and ask your question. Okay, I'm not sure. You can you can type the question in case you you hear this later so that we can just start. So we are ready. So what happens here is that you put down your answer and then you know we come at the end to tick it off, ask questions where we don't have clarity, and then we wrap it up. So go ahead. Okay, Mel, Mel, wa, welcome. I hope I got your name right. We just started the Q&A. So you can start with this question. Okay, so we skip over to the second one. Elizabeth, welcome. We just started. So you can continue from question two. Okay, so we can go to the third one. Thank <laughs> you. 
sorry. Just a quick correction. Okay, so we go to the fourth question. was a problem, yo, I'll solve it. Okay, so we go to the fifth question. Okay, so question number six.
Okay, so question seven. Okay, so question eight. We have two more after that. So we're almost getting there. Question nine. Okay, so the last question, question 10. Okay, so CPI stands for Cost Performance Index.
Okay, so there we go. Let's um, review our answers. Are we all done? Did anyone miss any question and you want us to go back to it? You can put a chat if you want us to go back to a specific question. Okay, so in the event of nobody missing anything, here are the answers you can tick by yourself. And, you know, just share with us in the chat if there is a, is a, if there is a particular question you would want us to discuss. And then tell us your score. <laughs> Okay, are we done? Have you ticked yourself? Okay, so are we done? Are we done? Are we done? You can use the chat or your microphone. I, I want to get feedback so that I'm sure we're still in here. Have you ticked yourself? Should I go ahead? I'm not getting a response. Okay. Mel, what? Elizabeth, Toby. Yes, we can go ahead. Yeah, okay. So how was it for you? Do you have any questions from the ones we've done? Okay, let me just go eight, back here. Eight and nine. Eight and nine, okay. Okay, midway, 
through a, a software development project, a programmer approached you and let you know that she has found an alternative method of performing a tax that will save the project and company a great deal of money. What should your, you, the project manager, do next? A says, revisit this idea in the project retrospective to implement this for maybe future projects. Then B says, do nothing as the budget has already been finalized. C says, evaluate this alternative and submit a change request. So um, C is the right answer. And why are we choosing C? Because anybody that helps you, any idea that would help you save money, you know, on a project is a big deal. So you can put it in, submit a change request. If it's not going to impact a lot of things, it can be approved by the change control board. So let's see, is that clear now? Yes, yes. Okay, then question nine. The COO, the chief operating officer of your software development company has asked you to develop a rough prototype, like a demo of a piece of software to test prove the concept for her, for her team. Which development approach is suitable for this project? Um, most times, if, you, if it's software, um, plan-driven or predictive or waterfall, which is like the same thing, you know, is not what you would use. So um, you could say, oh, hybrid, but then since she's not really clear of this prototype, since it's, they say rough prototype, you know, you may just want to use the incremental development approach. Incremental meaning, you know, you just give her like um, a minimum viable product something that solves a little bit of the problem she wants, you know, till she gets it clear, you know, what she really wants at the end of the day. So by the time you keep um, getting feedback from her and keep adjusting, you know, you build out the software, you know, that she would want. So the best approach is the incremental development. I hope that was clear too. Yes. Okay. It's clear. Thank All you. right. So any other questions? I'm not hearing other stuff. <laughs> Are we on mute? Please feel free to ask questions before we wrap up. We'll soon wrap up. So how was the test for everyone? Did you get up to 50%? OK. So let me go ahead. So thank you so much for participating. You can reach out to us, Right Track Consulting, at this number. This is a Nigerian number because I see some people are from maybe India or some African countries. When you train with us, you know, if you've not done training before or if you need a refresher, you know, you can be sure of support and accountability. We have some upcoming sessions in September. So this is for people, the weekday classes, weekend classes are for people based in Nigeria. You know, you could be in Lagos, Abuja, Port Harcourt, we do all of that. Then online live classes between September 3rd and 18th, mostly Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. You can also access about that wherever your location may be. And um, there's also a self-study group, you know, for online classes that are self-paced from September 1st to 30th. You can enroll here for more details and we'll be glad to have you come on board. Thank you for participating today. I hope you got value from the interaction. So um, we'll look forward to having you in September as you prepare. Remember our assignment, we said, please go to pmi.org, you know, to sign up, sign up for membership, sign up as an account, sign up for your exam, put a date on your exam. And before you know it, you know, you start intensifying your preparation towards the main exam. So there we go for today. Thank you so much for being here. We appreciate you. Thank you, bye-bye. Right. Thank you, Ojugu. You're welcome.